Hi everybody, I hope you all had a good weekend and, you know, prepped up for the week ahead. Um, with that in mind, I really fancied making orange cake um, with custard. Now I found the recipe on the Jer John Kirkwood um, YouTube channel and it, I mean, it looks absolutely delicious. Um, he obviously uses an oven for his cooking, but we're going to be doing cooking ours in the Ninja Jewel. So I've prepped two um, so, um, oh, cake tins <laughs> with, uh, they, they've been, you know, um, buttered and parchment papered, etc. But yeah, I fancied making, because I had oranges in the house and I've got all the ingredients and I, it, a nice um, treat for the boys when they come home from school, um, which will make a change from their usual uh, s stuff. <laughs> so yeah, now I'll show you the ingredients. Here it is. So instead of butter um, or marge, uh, this is uh, sunflower oil, four medium sized eggs, it's a juice of one orange, zest of one orange, that's self-raising flour and there's a teaspoon of baking powder mixed in there or on the top at the moment and that's for the icing sugar for the the, the top the glaze which is what we want most of the zest for well some well a bit because this is really for the zit, uh, the glaze I am going to be putting just over half of this in the cake as well so yeah let's get cooking Yeah, I nearly missed the sugar. So that's 110 grams of just normal granulated sugar. It could be castor or castor or castor, I don't know. Whichever. Cool, that would have been a mistake. Cool. Well, I think that's ready to put in the um, cake tins. So I'm going to preheat the Ninja, um, I've got the crisper plates in, yeah, so I'm going to preheat, air fry for three minutes and then I'll be back to put it on bake. 
So the preheat's about to end. But while it's doing the cool function, I'm going to put them in. should be over in a minute right so now it's bake at 160 I'll put the Fahrenheit here uh, for 30 minutes so match mustn't forget match right here goes while that's cooking I'm gonna make the icing so let's just move that to the side. This is why it's handy having it on wheels, actually. Right, let's get this ready. So I'm going to put the remainder of the, um, the zest. And a few spoonfuls of the, the juice or one spoonful. We're going to what is this one? 15 grams. Uh, yeah, because I want the juice to drizzle over the cake. So that should be enough. It smells beautiful. Lovely. So that's let that sit over there. Uh, yeah, I shall see you um, when this is done. Hopefully, see you in a bit. Well, it's about to end. Ooh, I hope it's all right. Got my to check. Okay, let's open. Ooh, let's put that there. Let's put that there. Ooh, gosh. They look good. Well, I'm really happy with them. Right, let's just quickly check. Lovely, that's cooked. Yes. Well, I'm going to leave these to cool and then I'll be back. Thank you, Ninja. I'll be, oh, so yeah, I'll be back in about five, 10 minutes. See you in a bit. So I'm going to take them out of the tin to keep, to carry on cooling. Uh, but in John Kirkwood's uh, sort of how to, he, once they're cool, he puts them back in the tin because they kind of, with your, there's, cause it's, your dri drizzle and the orange um, icing you know you, you need a, it to be in a sort of relative in a container so anyway let's get them out and let them cool further So they're, they're still a little bit warm, but I'm going to put them back in their tins.
and start prepping them for the orange oops, juice and uh, the icing. John Kirkwood said this is a good time to portion them out carefully if you've got a um, non-stick, uh, what do you call it, <sighs> cake tin. <laughs> When he did it, he used a tray bake, uh, but obviously with a ninja, I've just used what I knew would fit. Right, I'm just going to make lots of holes. Right, I'm just going to drizzle some of this orange, the juice of one orange. Try and get it into the holes. Well, now the same with the icing sugar. Oh, that looks good. Well, I'm going to let that um, ice and sugar harden and then we're going to come back for a taste test with some custard. Oh, lovely. Right, we're um, going to go for a taste test. Check that out. Oh, is it steaming you up a bit? Mmm. Check the zest on the top. Delicious. So I'm going to try and extract one because um, I don't really have anything suitable. Oh my god, I, maybe the portion is a bit too big. That looks really nice. Right, we've got a bit of some custard. That's just in instant sachet custard um, I had in the cupboard, luckily. Right, I'm gonna go for a taste test. It smells beautiful, really lovely orange. It looks hot, no, the custard is anyway. Oh my God. Oh, the sponge is so light and it has that nice, really lovely crusty top with the icing and the zest. Oh my God, oh my God, this is a pudding and a half. Oh. That is really lovely. You could put the other one in the freezer if you've made two on your jewel. And if you have a kasori, you could do a big one, a tray bake, in fact, if you had one that fitted the, the baskets. 
I might look into getting a tray bake because I do like tray bakes. Mmm, delicious. The orange zest, that knife adds a lovely zing, a delicious zing. Oh, I'm going to carry on and enjoy this. Um, thank you so much for watching. Hilary Smith, thank you so much for your super thanks. And thank you to all my patrons, all three of you. Love you lots. London Chap, Bimbo Clack, aka Jim, and Hanson, aka Carol. Thank you so much. And take care, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now. Have a great week. What day is it coming? Have a good week. Take care. Bye.